Last time on How to Make a Bot. This time on How to Make a Bot. Good evening, everyone. So, apparently, there is a lot of demand for me to create more RuneScape bots. So, this one is going to be me going through and actually creating a bot from scratch. Just, yeah, I'm going to do everything that you need to know to create a bot for RuneScape. So, um, one of the first things you're going to have to do while I'm sitting here playing is go and download Auto It. Alright, I'll put the link down in the description. Might even throw a little tag somewhere around here. But that's the program that we're going to be using. That's the one that we're going to be... Cash out. Yes, I want the money. Give me the money. Thank you. So, anyhow, um, that's the one that we're going to be using. Um, okay, cool. I think... So what I've done is I've started up my scripted light. Um, to do this, go to start. This is after you install AutoIt. Type out the word script. Your scripted editor is going to pop up. Run it. Um, if you run RuneScape past administrator, that's uh, like you run as administrator and you get the little pop-up box. Do you want to allow this program to make changes? Yes, no. Then you have to run your scripted light as an administrator as well. Otherwise, it can't touch the program. Just user access control. Um, next thing is you're going to need your um, your window info. If you type out window window info, you're going to get two little versions: Auto at Window Info X64, Auto at Window Info X86. Doesn't matter which one you use. If you're on an X86 computer, I'm sorry, um, you got a little bit old, older computer then you need to run the x86 version. Most people nowadays, you can run the 64-bit version. doesn't matter. This right here is going to be telling us where we're going to be clicking out on the screen. This little finder tool is how we find our clicks. Uh, I know I had one of the questions posted to me, how do you know where to click? It's because I'm using this little tool to find the x, y coordinates of the place on the screen that I need to click. So, that said, go ahead and do a file new if you haven't done so. And we're going to save as. And we're going to call this one runescape underscore bot making. So uh, I realized that the first one I had done, I didn't tell you guys like how to do it. I just showed you what it does. So um, yeah, let's go. Let's go to the hometown thingy. Oh. Home portal. There. By the way, it's been a while since I've actually played RuneScape. I don't remember a lot of the places or the stuff that you can go and do. So the bot you're going to be creating is probably not going to be the same bot that I'm going to be showing you. I'm just going to be showing you the techniques of what you can do. If you can click on it, if you can type it, then you can get auto it to do it for you. I think the best thing for us to do would be come over here and show you how to do shrimp fishing. Shrimp fishing. So, um, yeah, let's get started. Uh, we've got these little shrimp right here, and because we're working in a 3D environment, we want to always rotate our camera to the same position every single time. Otherwise, we're going to get lost. Uh, the other thing that we're going to do is we're going to utilize the teleport command because when you teleport, you end up at the exact same position every single time. So if we collect all these shrimp and then we go teleport, we can get to the bank because we know exactly where to click, how to click on it, stuff like that. Um, please note, if you're running an, a bot that does a loop, if somebody's standing in the way of your click, it will not move to the correct position and get lost. So, with that being said, let's start. Um, okay, with the shrimp, they appear in three different places. So we're going to have to create a little scan table, like scan area, to look for those three spots, and then go click if that bubble happens to be there, in that position. Yeah. Well, let's do this first. First thing I need to know is what the window name is. So I'm going to grab my finder tool. I'm going to drop it on the RuneScape top right here. 
So here's our information about that window. Uh, yours probably looks like this. So we're going to say when act. Oh, oh sorry. Um, let's set up our script first. Uh, hold on. Let me look at something. Testing one, two. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't getting anything like no sound. In fact, that might be a little bit too loud. I'll pull it off my ear a little bit. There we go. All right. Uh, back to scripting. So let's go ahead and set up our escape command. Hot key set. I'm going to make it the F1 key. So in quotes, I type in squir squiggly brackets. F1. This indicates when I press F1, I want to call a command, or I want to call a function, and that function is going to be called my exit. Down here at the bottom, we're going to define function my exit. Put quotation or put parentheses at the end. We're going to call MSG box. Flag is going to be zero. Title is exiting, and text is going to be bot is quitting or bot has quit and then right below that exit oops no period there we go and function then up here in the middle while one w end this is going to be an infinite loop because one is always going to be true We're going to do uh, when activate, put in our title that we looked for, which was RuneScape. And if we want, we can actually go x equals like that. And then do like a MSG box, zero flag, no title, and x. This way we can see if we actually got it. And we did. F1. Uh oh. We can't use F1 because F1's actually in use. That's okay. We got an error anyway. I put S, not X. There we go. So that number right there, that is the handle to our RuneScape window. We can use this for control clicks later. I'm not going to get into control clicks. We're just going to simply make a straight bot. Now, my X, Y coordinates are going to be different than yours. What I like to do is I like to maximize um, RuneScape or go into full screen mode and always run your bot the same way every single time. All right. So we need to define a new function called reset view. So function view reset. And there's, there's a lot of people that like to do this for your functions, so you know it's a function. I don't do that because I grew up on Visual Basic 3.0. That should date me a little bit. In function. All right. See how we're, we're kind of scrolled over and in, and, and we're not at the same position every single time? The way you get back to an original position is you click on the compass up here at the top right, and it will always reset it to this view. From here, you have to scroll all the way out and look all the way, oops, all the way up. This view right here, we need to reset every single time. This is the view that we're going to be using always. So, let's go ahead and create that function. Grab your info window right here. You're going to grab your little targeting system and like release it on the compass. This is going to give you an XY coordinate. Uh, if you come over to here, doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, all the way over to the right, there's a little tab called mouse. Mine is at 1631.171. Probably not what yours is, but we'll make it that. All right, so... I'm going to call mouse click. It's going to be a left click at X position 1631, comma, 171, comma. It's going to be for one click. It's going to be at the speed of one. 
This is really fast. Save that. So if I run this, it should, here, let me reset my view over here. There we go. If I run my bot, it should click on that for me. Oh, no, it doesn't, because I didn't call reset view anywhere. All right, F1, quitting the bot. There we go. We're just going to call it one time. We're not going to put it into the loop yet. View, reset. Just call that. Click. Oh, click. There we go. And you can take out that message box. We don't need that top message anymore. That was just for playing. All right, so the next thing we got to do is we're going to have to scroll out. So let's scroll in. Oops. And it's going to be mouse wheel down. Mouse wheel direction is going to be down. And let's say for 20 clicks. Try that. Oh, have to quit. F5. Mouse wheel up, maybe. Direction is down for 20 clicks. Huh. Let's try 200 clicks. Yeah. Oh, oh, never mind. Here. Let's not do mouse wheel. Let's do uh, send and in quotation page down. I think it's page down. Is it page down or page up? I lost my mouse. Alright, it's page down. So you're going to press down on page down for like a second and then let go. Page down. We're going to sleep for... Let's make it two seconds. Page down, down. And then send page down, up. Like that. There we go. Uh-oh. Error opening file. Why did you have an error opening the file? Oh, there we go. Alright. So let's scroll all the way in. Just make sure this is working. F5. Didn't work. Okay. So we're going to go refer to our help file because I forgot what the send is. Maybe. If I can get the help file to... Oh, there it is. Got to quit your bot before the help will pop up. Send. Ooh, yeah. And, oh, it's going to be PGDN, not page down. P, PGDN down. PGDN up. Try that. There we go. We are zoomed out. Now we're going to need to press the up arrow key. So we can do this at the same time. Send up down. <laughs> we're going to send up down. And then we're going to send up up. Up on pup. Dr. Seuss reference. Thank you very much. Oh, 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 don't go running off. Get back over there. Alright, so let's mess up the view. This should reset the view every single time. Save that. Oh, uh, F1 to quit. F5. Boom. Same spot every time. 
So what I like to do is get a starting position. So let's go ahead and teleport home. or teleport to that that I just clicked on. And pause just a sec. Okay, we've teleported in place. So this is going to be start position. So um, when we start our bot, we're always going to start here. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to click up here to move. All right, head back over to my script. And mine's going to start with a comment saying, starting at teleport in, where is this place called? Taverlay, Taverlay. Taverlay. And I totally just messed up my positioning. Awesome. Okay, so that's the same position. Whatever. Um, let's go ahead and create the teleport. So we're going to create a function called function teleport taverlay. Like that. Okay. End function. <coughs> so to teleport to Taverlay, we're going to have to click on here, wait for the map, click on here. Okay? So that's what we're going to do. And if you notice, that map disappears once it's started. So, first things first, we're going to find the middle of that H and release. Oh, come on. There we go. So, mouse, click. Oh, that's going to be a lot of clicks. All right, I'm going to create another function. We're going to call this LC for a left click. And it's going to take an X position and a Y position. Uh new function called LC oh function LC end func we're going to do mouse click at uh, it's going to be a left click at X position Y position one click at a speed of one so now instead of calling mouse clicks, I'm just going to call it LCs. LC at one six three one, comma four four eight. All right. The next click position that we need. Go ahead and click on that. Notice there's a little bit of a delay, so we're go we're going to have to program in that delay. It's going to be right there. So sleep for, say, two seconds, just in case there's some lag. And we're going to do an LC on 938, comma, 532. Then we're going to sleep for 10 seconds, maybe. So uh, let's go ahead and take this while loop out for the moment. We're not going to need it because we're just playing. So the first one thing we want to do is teleport underscore Taverlay. Once we've done that, we are going to reset res oh, view reset. All right. So we can come over here mess up our original location and we're gonna zoom in and mess mess this all up there we go so now our views messed up and we're out of sync so we're out of position 
Come back in here. F5. Clicks. Clicks. We are now teleporting. We did not wait long enough. So it takes more than 10 seconds. I would say about 14 seconds. All right. So let's do it again. Gonna click, click, click. Gonna click, click, click. Gonna click, 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 click. Mess up the view. Zoom in. And there. Good. F5. Click. Click. He's gonna teleport to Taberley. Now the view should not reset until we get over there. There we go. Views reset. We're back in action. So uh, I am going to add two more seconds under that. So a total of 16 seconds to teleport. All right. Hang tight one second. Okay. We are back. So back in the game. We're our first click. We're going to click right up here to get us moving. Alright, so let's go ahead and turn on our while loop. First thing that we're going to do is teleport. Teleport underscore Taverlay. And I'm going to put some space in between my functions and my actual thing here. <coughs> Once we've moved, we're going to view reset. I don't like the way that sounds. Let's go ahead and just call it reset view. Reset view. There we go. Once that's done, go ahead and make a comment. Start travel to shrimp. I think they're shrimp. Can't remember. Uh, our first click is going to be at uh, 1137 152. So LC 1137, comma 152. By the way, you can add randomizers onto there, um, but make it off by just a couple of pixels. And when you do, make sure that he doesn't end up in two different places all the time. All right, so. Left click right there at 1137.52, 152. Um, all right, we're going to comment this out, comment this out. If we just run this one time, take these top two out so you don't reset them. This should be the first click that we need. Click. Oh, dang it. Okay, we are in an infinite loop. That's horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Bad programming. Bad, 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 bad. Get out of there. Get out of there. Oh my gosh. It'd be so much easier just to teleport home. So, while we're creating the loop, let's go ahead and put an exit down here at the bottom. Just comment it. Don't leave this here. All right, so the first one is click there. Once you've moved to the first position, go ahead and find your second click. Try and put it in some place that won't be occupied. Oh, come on. There we go. Uh, so sleep, and I'm going to put in travel time. Up here at the top, I'm going to define, define what travel time is. Travel time equals, and I'm going to say about 5 seconds, so about 5,000, uh, because it takes 5 seconds to click around and to get places. 
Uh, I'm even going to go seven seconds just to be on the safe side. We might turn that down if we see him stopping for long periods of time. So, now that we've got that, uh, I've got my second coordinate that I need. We're going to need to LC at 1398,173. Take out the first comment, or the first click. This way we click the next point. Oh, and we can take out the sleep as well. Click. So keep the that in our paste. Go find our next click, which is going to be right here in front of these. Click right there. Come on. There we go. LC at 1382,207. Save that. And we're going to paste in our sleep. But we're going to comment it out. F5. He cl clicks again. All right. So now we are in front of the shrimp place. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create a, a little search variable to go back and forth and just kind of keep an eye on, on those bubbles. Or if you want, you could actually put all of this into uh, a function and call the function travel to shrimp. And then instead of you having to call this every single time, you just call travel to shrimp, which would teleport, reset view, travel up. Make sense? All right, cool. All right. In fact, that sounds like a really good idea. I might, I might do that later. What we're going to need to do is we're going to need to scan this little area... Oh, wait a second. If we're down here shrimping, then we need to scan upwards as well. So we're going to expand this little search area. I want you to imagine a, uh, a rectangle right here that we're going to be searching for pixels in. At the top left-hand corner to the bottom right-hand corner, all possible pixels in between, we're going to click on it. So... Uh, to start, we're going to comment, should be ready to shrimp fish, or should be at shrimping fishing area. Uh, for count equals 1 to 10. We're going to do this 10 times, I think. How much inventory do I have? Uh, no, that's not it. Is it B for backpack? Backpack, there we go. Oh, I still got a lot of coal and stuff in here. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so we're, we're just going to say 10 times. For now. You can always do this later. Next, put in our loop. <clears throat> We're going to say pixels equals uh, pixel search. And we have to define our area. Top left, bottom right. So the first area we're going to search for, if we're standing at the very bottom, we would need to be... Let's see, right about here, so that's going to be our start position. Here, let's actually, let's click on this bottom one here, there we go. 
So you can imagine that as the top left hand side of our triangle. And we're going to have to come back a little bit. So let's do this. Let's do, let's start that search again. Right here. <clears throat> so we're going to pixel search at 916, comma, 446, comma. Now let's move to this top fishing area. this as our bottom area. So that's the whole length of it right there. Pixel search at 1067 comma 739 comma. Uh, the color that we're going to be searching for is the white blue area of the bubbles themselves. Best way to find it is to take a snip shot, type start, snip, enter, and then grab it. Then what you can do is use your finder tool and see that light bluish bubble right there? I'm going to release on it. And it should tell us the color. 3173B8. It's a very specific color. 3173B8. Oh, uh, you got to put the 0x in front of it to tell it that it's hexadecimal. I'm going to give it a shade variant of 1. If not at air, which means we found the pixel, and if, then we're going to do an LC on the position that we found. So, pixels 0, and pixels 1. And we're going to sleep for, what do you say, 20 seconds? There we go. 20 seconds. Do that for a count of 10. Then we'll wash, rinse, repeat, and just do the whole loop for a second. Let's go ahead and take these out. Uh, that comment was supposed to be in there. Whoops. Alright. So, here we go. Oh, uh, I'm going to... Take out this exit, by the way. Here we go. F5. Oh, oh, we got an error. Then. I forgot then. If, then. There we go. What's happening? Error. Uh-oh. Why do we have an error? Oh. Forgot to put uh, parentheses. Here we go. Click. Click. Whoa, it looks like I'm full on shrimp. Okay, seven second travel time seems to be a bit much. <coughs> oh, goodness. What happened there? Alright, F1, we're quitting the bot. These are raw crawfish. I think... Is there a cook in here somewhere? Do we have a... Oven? 
cook at the oven. There we go. Uh-oh. Looks like we burnt a couple of the shrimp. Okay. So, let's go talk to the chef, see if we can sell this stuff off. Where is the mouse? The I need cooking supplies. Sell items. There we go. So that's going to be our loop. Um, let's go ahead and get rid of all this stuff. Ooh, 22 for silver ore. It says I have 8,518 gold. We should probably go to the bank and drop that stuff off, but I'm not going to worry about it for right now. Let's move this over. There we go. Okay, so we have a loop. We can come in. Um, we can go to the shrimp, get all the shrimp. Uh, I'm going to count up my spaces, make sure that we have a, a loop count until it's full. And I will show you how to do that as well. Come back up here to the top. I'm back up here to the top. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to loop until this last space is full of shrimp. Okay? So instead of doing this 410, we're going to say fishing full equals false. 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 Do until, or we're going to say while not fishing full. So fishing full is false. So, uh, oh, or is it until, until? No, let's do while. While not fishing full, do this. And W end, W end. All right, I got to go take this stuff back out because we don't want to teleport. And we don't want to reset. We do want to reset. Um, just hit the minus key. It'll comment that stuff out for me. Take out the next. There we go. Oh, I didn't want to teleport. Come on. Seriously. Err. Should reset our view. There we go. Okay. So now that our view is reset, we can go back in there. Oh, oh, I'm gonna sneeze. All right. That's a. That, I caught it just in time. So you're welcome. Uh, by the way, I also moved my face down a little bit so you, you can see my pretty face. Um, my backpack is in a specific position. It's actually been moved from its original position. But what I did is I went ahead and grabbed a shrimp. We're going to be looking for this shrimp in the very last position. So to do that, I'm going to search for 
that color right there. Boom. Okay. So switch back over to here. And we're going to put in this uh, pixel search. Copy. We're going to do a pixel search for that color. And it's going to be one pixel big. So at 1670 and 814 by 1672 and 816, we're going to be searching for the color 854C29. It's going to have a shade variant of 1. If that is found, then we are going to MSG box 0, nothing. We are full. And we're going to set fishing full equals true. So that will trigger trigger fishing full or not fishing full false to fishing full true, which is going to be a not, which turns it into a false. <coughs> I hope I didn't confuse you there. Basically, um, we turn fishing full to false, then we start fishing until fishing full is true. But because of the nature of the while statement, while something is true, then do this. Do it until it's false. That's why we have the little knot in there. So, this should start fishing until it's full. We are, oh, we are full, aren't we? We are full. Yeah, I know, I know. All right, quitting the bot. There we go. <coughs> Move that up to there. Here we go. Oops. Switch back over to the bot. F5, here we go. So he's just going to be looking for that specific color. Oh, he found it. He starts fishing. Got 10 experience points for shrimp fishing. Got some more. He's still fishing, still fishing. Still fishing. Getting some crayfish. What? No. Wait, how do I chat? No, I don't want a quick chat. Let him say something soon. Want a bow? No. Not from a troll. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and turn our butt back on. F1. I wanted F5. <laughs> so 
So the bot's back on. It's still searching. Oh, look at that. Here, how can I... Let's see. Follow, trade, examine, cancel. Oh, we are full. So, can't carry any more fish. So if we teleport, it's going to automatically close the dialog box. So we don't have to worry about, hey, you can't carry more fish, hit OK. We just hit the teleport button because we know that we're full and we'll travel. There we go. Very good. All right. So from here... Let's go back over to our bot part. Uh, we're going to indent this in. And indent that in. And call this... Fishing Loop. <laughs> going to go down to the bottom end fishing loop. And we're going to say uh, move to cook. Alright, so the first thing that we need to do is we need to do that teleport again. So teleport taverly tra taverly taverly save <coughs> That will teleport us back down here, so I don't need this for the moment, and we can comment everything else out for the moment, except for the reset view. Uh, so, comment out. Reset view. This is going to be us traveling into there to go cook the fish. And I don't think I can see it from here. Can I actually click on that, maybe? I don't want to click on the map itself, but we're going to try it. If this works, that's going to be awesome. Oh! See where he travels to. And he traveled right in front of it. That is awesome. Okay, so I'm going to use that position on the map itself. Alright, so. Uh, LC 1841,319 and this is going to be click on the map to get to the furnace stove. Alright. Uh, and then sleep for travel time. Sleep. Travel time. Save. Fill sink. Cook at oven. So the next click that we need to do is right there. And this one's going to be cook at oven. And we're going to say position LC, left click, oops, LC at 1018, comma 638. Um, let's take this out. Oh, excuse me. Whew. Oh, he moves one. Alright. Bot is quitting. I forgot to take back the uh, exit. We're going to put that back in there. There we go. So, sleep for 
about two seconds. There we go. Next, we're going to have to click on... We don't have to click on shrimp. I guess we could just uh, click on cook. So find our cook button right there. After we've slept the two seconds, click on the cook button in the dialog. Take this out. And this is going to be very important. We're going to have to time how long this takes. Uh, it's going to be LC at position 1057, 719. And here he goes. It said 59 seconds. So it's about a minute. Alright, so let's switch back over to our bot. Um, one minute. You know, let's, let's go ahead and put in a sleep for 60,000. One, two, three. And comment this sleep for one minute while cooking. There we go. So now we have all of our freshly cooked shrimp and our burnt shrimp. <laughs> nice. All right. So either way we go on this, if we click on the... Okay, okay. here. Let's go ahead and click on the chef. All right. So we can comment these out. We're going to LC at 959 comma 459 sleep for half of our travel time because it's not that far away travel travel is it all lowercase it is travel time is all lowercase travel time divided by two so we don't have to wait for the whole thing uh, let's go ahead and run that. See what he clicks on. Click. That should open up the dialog box. From here, we're going to have to hit the OK button. So go ahead and comment that out. I'm going to grab our tool. Find out where that is. Hit the Go button. Comment this. Uh, I'll say click on cook. Click on go button in cook dialog. Where is the library? Which is going to be what am I saying? LC I mean, where is the cheese? Nine six two comma eight six four. Sleep for just a second here. So one five zero zero. About one and a half seconds. Hit oh go. And then we're gonna have to ooh, can we press one? Ooh, yeah. Then we're just going to send one. This should open up that. Sleep for just a second. And the sleep times you can decrease as you see the speed of the bot. Um, we need to click on the sell items, not the buy items. So grab your tool, click on the sale. Good, sell. Uh, we're going to LC on 859. Oops. 859, comma, 454. Sleep for just a second. Then we're going to click on this first one right here. 
And you could do this by colors, but we really don't need to because, I mean, we don't have anything else in our inventory. If you do have other stuff in your inventory, go ahead and get rid of it. Uh, sleep for just a second. What was this? This is... Click on sell items. Um, this was... Select... I need supplies. And this was... Click on the go button. Alright. This way we're labeling everything, so when we run back through this months from now and realize that it's not working correctly, we can tell what part is broken. This is essential. Trust me. You will thank me later. Uh, once we click on the sell items button, uh, we're going to click on the first shrimp here. Uh, LC 784 comma 485 click on second item slot in parentheses should be shrimp sleep for just a second LC we want to click on the max button right here LC at one one eight one comma six five eight. Click on the max button. So let's go ahead and click on the max button. Now we need to click on the cell button, which I will go ahead and do. Notice how everything goes away and it leaves that second slot again. Um, sleep for just a second. Left click at 1167, comma, 704. This is going to be click on the cell button. So, from, let's go ahead and put a sleep in there as well. From right here, the second item slot, all the way down to that that cell button, or we can actually do a loop for x equals 1 to 2. We're going to put this into a loop because we have to do it twice. Once for the regular shrimp, once for the burnt shrimp. If it doesn't have burnt shrimp, it doesn't really matter because we're just going to be clicking blank space anyway. Uh, For x equals... Oh, we got to put in next. There we go. So we have our four and our next for two loops. In fact, I can comment this stuff out. Click. Max. Cell. Good. See how I did it twice? Hit F1. We're going to kill our... Oh, we don't have to hit F1 to kill our bot. Now we have to close this dial. Oh, maybe we don't need to close our dialogue. We don't need to close the dialogue. Nice. Because we're just going to teleport, teleport again. So that should start the loop all over again. Oh, yay. We should have a full loop. All right, so let's, let's kill this. Leave that. And let's go uncomment this stuff. Minus... Minus, 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 minus that. End fishing loop. So all this stuff in here is the fishing loop. <laughs> All right, at the very end of this, we need to 
teleport again. So, oh, 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 in the fishing loop, left click. All right. Oh, no, we don't, because we teleport at the very beginning, remember? Ah, uh, see, I knew whenever we started this, we are going to want to teleport. So, let's go ahead and close the map real quick. Uh, we're going to save our work, F5. Knock on wood that this actually goes through and, and does a complete loop. There we go. Resets the view. Starts the travel to the shrimp. Hopefully nobody's standing there. There we go. Now he starts looking for the shrimp itself. If he finds one, that specific color, it'll click on it. part isn't it so tell me what you think in the comments down below uh, like subscribe share amongst your friends because unless you guys share with somebody else it doesn't get out to anybody I get a lot of comments about uh, hey make more bots make more bots let's let's make more bots um, basically I'm showing you I'm showing you the ropes I'm not going to create you guys bots but I will show you what you need to do to create your own bots and you can make these things as elaborate or as simple as you want. Um, this little loop right here, uh, I should be able to gain fishing, cooking, and money all at the same time. And if it stays in an infinite loop, oh. Uh oh. What happened? What happened? Stop, stop, stop. F1. Stop. Okay, we left our message box in there somewhere. Uh. Oh, yep, right there. Well, dang it. I didn't mean for that to happen. And we didn't teleport. There we go. Okay. So let's start this loop over. It won't take long because we're already full. Um, I'll pause it up until the time he gets there. Okay, should be pretty quick for him. For him. He's going to look and go, oh, I'm full. Alright. So he travels again. Now this is where he clicks on the map. I hope he lands in the same spot. Oh, he didn't. See, and this is why I don't like clicking on the map. He's lost. He has lost his way. He done lost his mind. So, let's get back over here to our position. Alright. We're going we're gonna to have to change the way he clicks inside there. So, let's move back into here. We are going to comment out this teleport. And we're going to comment out all of this fishing stuff.
So. Click on the map to the stove. Cook at the oven. All right, click on the map of the stove. This right here is the uh, point that we need to change. A couple of points that we need to change. So I'm just going to drag over here and click. This should take me to a point inside. We don't know what that point is yet. Looks good. Looks like a good spot. So, uh, this one. 1890 and 537. Sleep the travel time, which is about 7 seconds. And then cook at stove is going to be different. So cook at oven is going to be at 1081, 761. There we go. And that should correct the loop. So let's go ahead and close this. We're going to get back out here to our, our area. Somebody's dropping balloons or something all over the place. See that? There we go. Oops. Okay. So that's our start point. Here we go. Clicks inside there. Three, four, five, six, seven. Didn't wait long enough. So, F1, quit our bot. Oh, 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 oh. get back out there. Get back out there. So, travel time, uh, times, which is shift eight, two. So, it's going to be double the travel time. Ooh, what was that? All right. Here we go. Clicks inside. Moving, moving, moving. Now, clicks on the oven. Now, clicks on the oven. There we go. Dialog box, cook. Crayfish is already selected. If you have other things in there, you might have to select those. Ooh. How long did we wait for that? Did it end? Did something happen? Alright, let's quit. Click on the cook. Click on the cook button is right there. Oh, so we only waited two seconds. Let's wait five seconds, just in case. All right. Head back over here. All right. Right here. And here we go. F5. Waits a second. Clicks inside. We do double the travel time. Now he should be able to click on the oven. Clicks on the oven. Clicks on cook. There it goes. Now's our 60 second timer. Congratulations, you've reached the total level 300 milestone. Yeah! Accidentally burning a lot of crayfish. I'm going to pause this while he finishes up. Just about done. He clicked on there. Yeah, looks good. Sends a one, sends a cell. Clicks on the first one, clicks on the max, clicks on the cell. Clicks on the second one, clicks on the max, clicks on the cell. And boom! Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, where are you going? Where are you going? Okay. I took out all that other stuff, so that's why he's traveling off. Alright, so let's start over, because it looks like I uh, left one. Let's increase that from 60 to 65 seconds. Additional 5 seconds for the cooking. Alright, let's take and move this stuff off. Um, we can uncomment all of this, right? Oh, except for the reset view. There we go. Look at it real quick. Just make sure that we're good. Save that. Run that. There we go. I'm going to pause it while he does this first part of the... Alright, he's on his last crayfish. You cannot carry anymore. Looks like he's going to teleport home. My hands are off. This is complete bot. Clicks inside. Should give double the movement time. Ooh, he might be slightly off. Oh, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope. Oh, he's off. I know why he's off, too. All right, so F1. The reason he is off is because we do not wait long enough when he travels. What happens is he teleported in... And then he stepped down and the camera was lagged behind. So it didn't wait until the camera caught up. So on our teleport, uh, come down here to our function for the teleport. 16 seconds. We're going to increase this to a full 20 seconds. All right. Okay. Here we go again. First part, teleports in. I'm going to pause it while he uh, does the first part. All right, we are through the first part. He's done his search. He saw that he's full. He is now traveling back to go to the cook. He had more than enough time to wait. So that click, cook, bleh. the click for the cook should be in the same spot every single time. Clicks on the oven. Come on, come on, please work, please work, yeah! Clicks on cook. It says 61 seconds, we gave it a full 65, so... Oh, my cooking just went up, nice! Level 20 on the cook. And I still burn the crayfish. Not a very good cook. Of course, I got a zombie suit on right now, so I don't know how good zombies are at cooking. Especially crayfish. Still cooking away, gaining that experience points. Just about there. Just about there. Nearly there. Nearly there. That could be a problem if that uh, sous chef, like, walks in front of the, the chef chef. Oh, I leveled up cooking again. Sweet. Okay, he's done. Clicks on the chef. We go into our dialogue. Click OK. Press the 1. Click sell. Click the shrimp. Click the max. Click sell. Click the burnt shrimp. Max. Sell. Teleport. Hands off. Look, look, Ma, no hands. There he goes again. Waits for the camera to reset. 
and we should be back into our shrimp loop. So, this is just one part of, of a loop, or a, of a bot loop. You could essentially go through and do this for each skill that you want to increase, uh, with the exception of combat. I don't think there's any stationary combats that you can do in one place. You'd have to do a more elaborate pixel searching and hunting tag. Um, plus the drops that come with that might mess up your colors. But this is essentially the loops that you need to be making. When you're creating your loops, test them, test them, test them. All right, you need to be able to mouse click. You need to know how to do a pixel search. So you're searching for uh, specific pixels. You need to know how to send keys. So you need to know how to type stuff. Um, other than that, this is a full loop. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit here and let this time lapse. And we will uh, let this run until it time lapses out. So here, I'll go ahead and hide my face for this part. Okay, come back in. Oh, we never reset the fishing to false, did we? Did we reset the fish? Fishing to false? No, we're still running. Let's, let's search for a different pixel on that. All right, come to our fishing loop. That's the fishing that we're going to be looking for. So let's come back over here. We're going to take another snip. New snip. New. There we go. We're going to look for this light bluish color. Two C four two C four two C seven four C one, and we're going to give it a little bit of a variant. Oh, never mind. He just clicked on it. I don't know why he clicked on it, but he clicked on it. Maybe that color is very specific to that bottom one. By the way, they're not specific colors, um, but the shade of which I looked at it on was probably above the green. Because it's slightly transparent, so you can see the stuff behind it. Um, one way to correct that is to increase the shade variant from like a 1 to a 10. Right there where the mouse is. Uh, oh, you can't see the mouse, can you? Well, I can see the mouse. I don't know why it's not showing up in the video over there. Okay, time lapse, time lapse.
Okay. Mm, I have had enough time to go and run some errands, get uh, the dog fed, and um, get some lunch made up for tomorrow. And it looks like he's still just clicking along here. I'm going to go ahead and quit the bot. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I hope it's been very educational, and uh, I hope you've learned something from it. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, like, subscribe below. Leave me something in the comments. Let me know what you need. Um, also, yeah, that's awesome. Have a good night, everyone. Bye.